Hey what's up everyone, how you all doing today? Welcome to a new series here. We're going to be going through Necromunda Underhive Wars. So we're on the main menu. Let's get straight into the story mode and see what this is all about. The Hive Cities of Necromunda. Untold billions crammed within mountains of metal. Vast insect mounds of tireless industry amid the toxic wastes of their own manufacture. Inside the hive cities, every breath of air, every drop of water is recycled a million times over. Every watt of power and each mouthful of food must be guarded against rival clans and outlaws. It is a place where only the strong can endure, and no one prospers. Except, of course, those at the very top. And yet, opportunity still exists for the gang bold enough to take it. In the foundation layers of the Underhive, all manner of treasures can still be found. Lost, forgotten, or abandoned in the dark. The only question is, who would get there first? Treasure! That was quite a kick-ass little intro, I like that. Cool, so we're going to go through the story mode here. So what we've got, venturing far from home, Clan Escher, Gangers, Vex, and Young Kyra traverse treacherous unknown terrain to reach a secret gathering called by their gang leader. Cool. Definitely don't want to watch the intro again, nothing else to kick on. Right, let's go. Wait. Come on, Kira. Move your off. That's Kira, not Kyra. Okay. I remember that. is gone. I'm okay. I ain't made of glass. Cool, she's a tough old chick. Tess is gonna skin us if we're late to the meetup. Okay, each meter moved cost one meter point movement here. points. I only spent once fire trial performs the skill stops the effects of one or ends its turn. Use your fighters MP to explore the platform. Okay, so where are our meter points? Down the bottom left there. We jump, we can vault. Ooh. 
points, but used AP, which I guess are action points. Exit sign up there. Can we not go out the circle? Can't go out the circle. Okay. Go back this way then. Oh, yeah, that's out of that circle, are we? Find a way out. Well, it won't let me go any further so far. I wonder if there's another platform we can get onto. No. Well, this is odd. Can we get down now? Just press forward and then turn. Let's do that. Okay, so switch to the other bomb here. Enable tactical overlay. What does that do? That shows us an exit sign down there. Some orange glowy thing there. Jump. That seems like quite a long way to jump. Choose location. Oh, that's cool. Guess we'll just go there. Oh, that's good. It's not a straight up jump. It's so more what do you think Chester has called a meeting out here? Outside clan turf. She's gang leader. She calls the shots. Not for us to question. Where is that exit sign? Don't know, but the orange glowy thing is there. Exit sign's over that way. Crawl in there. So I guess this circle is like the range of our movement points. Okay, this chick can move about a little bit more, at least. Okay, let's go back to the other one. Select the fighter. Oh, okay, mouse wheel is changing. Tessera has been acting weird these past few days. You think she has a job lined up? I need to jump it. off here somewhere, we'll surely. We see her. Now we can jump down there. Can't climb over these. Can vault over there, though. That's the limit of our movement. Get up there. I've got no inventory. Guns and cleavers. Okay, that doesn't help as much. Maybe if I just stop there, that enables us to move a bit further at the next end of the next turn. Look at this exit that's over here. Oh yeah, okay. I'm getting this now. Let's use this jobby. Bit of zip line action. Cool. I'll try and patch myself up. Okay, I just read any other item on the, on the side there. Okay, let's end her turn. So I think that's what this circle is. The circle sort of shows the maximum distance you can move with your movement points. Okay, so that's showing a couple of enemy units have plopped in. No? Friendly units. I think they're friendly units. They look the same colour as us and everything. So even though I'm a Warhammer fan, I've never played Necromunda, so I'm not really aware of this universe much. So I don't know about Two these houses or clans. Where do you think you're going? Tessa has lost it, dragging us out of our home turf. So we're spectating this one. Out of our way, Moran. I won't ask twice. Oh, you yeah. fool! 
Oh, they're not friendly. Tessera hasn't got clearance from the matriarchs. The clan will exile us if we don't They've been in the house fighting here, I think. Screw it. Let's do it. Okay, then. so we've got a first bit of combat then. So what we, we do? Take down this barricade to go further. Offensive. Choose target. Oh, we can blow up the barricades. That's cool. Uh, just we'll guess. Just go for a shot. Resisted. Can we cheat again? 30 action points. Yeah, we've still got some. Got no action points left. And our weapon's jammed. Okay, so inventory. Get this out. Cool. No, run out of action points. Okay. So let's. Uh, can we get to cover or something? Uh, all cost action points, but I've already used. Okay, let's get to our next fighter then. Those tricks he got. Got one coming right up in our face. Cool. I hurt a little. Okay, so offensive. Ah, okay. Draw this. Aim shot. Shoot. Blocked by debuff. Switch hands. What's that do? Ah, okay, switch has begun. What do I want? I don't want any of that. Can I get... Yeah. Equip that. Equip in the left hand. Can we do the same with that as well? Yeah. Okay. Look at that. That's an awesome little pose. She's ready for it. Right, let's go. Both hands. Yeah, I was going to use all our action points, but... Yeah, look at that. Good bit of damage. Uh, we've still got 20 action points. So, can we attack again? Yeah, just with one hand. Cool. Only five action points left. I wonder if there's anything we can do. Equipping that. That's going to cost a five action points. So just, just equip one. So we've got a gun in one hand and an axe in the other. Cool. Let's end the turn there. AP and MP restored. Okay. So we're at the barricade here, aren't we? Why can't I move? Don't know what happened there. Okay, now I can move. Brilliant. Um, kind of need to take out that barricade, I think, so we can get up there. So, let's press 1 for our offensive. Weapon is jammed. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, inventory. Equip that. And see if we can just batter this thing down a bit. Invalid target type. So my gun's jammed. So I can't shoot with it. Let's see if we can get it back on. See if we can figure out how to unjam it. Tactical. That's a Neil field repair. Cool. Combat view. I'm reading the top right here. Hovering over an enemy in a combat view will indicate how much they can see the active fighter, as well as a chance to hit. Toggle tactical category 2. 
Can't see anyone there at all. So let's just see if we can shoot this barricade. Oh, insufficient action points. Okay, okay. Um, let's get our tactical on, get some kneeling in. And hopefully we're going to be a little bit more, a little bit less visible, rather, to the enemy that's above us there. We didn't take much damage, yeah? I like it. Uh, okay, so offensive, in fact, inventory. Let's get our other axe back out. Equipping right hand, I think. Well, that didn't work, did it? We need it in the left hand. I'm not going to. Um, yeah, now let's let's get it right. Let's get it right. Quick, left hand. Yes, axe in both. Brilliant. Offensive. Yep. Cut you down. Right, search. Massive axe. Put in backpack. Cool. I love that. Thank you. Can we move as well? Yep, can do some movement. Can't see the other one from here. No. Uh, what was it? Use the line. Can we not? Because it's going to cost. Yeah, it's going to cost too many action points. I'd imagine that's why it's not letting us. Okay, so let's just wait there. So hopefully this one here can now start shooting the barricade. It's like we're going to get attacked first. Hmm. Just have to reload a gun now. I imagine that's something we're going to have to do soon then. Stand up. Sitting black the crap out of this. Hey, there we go. Now we're coming for you. What we like for action points, we're fine for action points. Let's have another one of them. Yeah! Searcher! More would never venture out this far without a map of the area. Oh, got a map. Oh, but I can't. Okay, it's going to cost action points. So we're going to have to chill here. Because we've got no action points. Uh, go on, let's heal you up as well. Cool. Still got quite a few action points. I don't know if we're going to make it all the way up to this body. We're going to run out of movement points. Yeah, we got close though. Now we can search this body. Please put all this in the backpack. In fact, can we put that back? Yeah, and we'll try and pick it up with the other with our other character to see if that'll work. I'll right, probably go to the exit. What's down here? Is there anything we can access? Just a ladder up to a closed vault door. So I think the exit, yeah, it's up here, just around the corner of it. So 
So is that just going to extract her? Yep. The other one doesn't get dragged in. That's cool. Ah, see, she can't equip her either. Oh well, it was worth a try for the experiment. So it's quite clear there's different classes of fighters and they can hold different weapons. I must say, I'm really liking the free movement of your characters in this um, this type of strategy game. It's quite cool. I'm very used to playing the XCOM style of game, where it's more like a top-down grid. So this is pretty cool so far. Shame. Never liked her anyway. Whoa, whoa! We're with you. No hard feelings? Hell no. If Maren wanted to lead, she had to be strong enough. And she was weak. So we'll follow you, sister. So what's this all about? Why are we meeting on the way out of here? It's got to be big. Why risk it otherwise? Big enough that Tess is more worried about the house matriarchs hearing about it. Big enough to risk getting into a fight with the slab punchers. So the biggest. It's gotta be loot, right? <laughs> Ahoy! <laughs> Shut up, Kira. Hey, lay off. Oh, who's listening? Ooh. Mechanicus. Mad Max are about. Cool. Well, there we have it, guys. That's the first bit of the tutorials done for the storyline campaign. Uh, I really enjoyed that. It took a little while to sort of get a hang of the combat and the movement and everything. But that's, it's a really fun game so far. Really good twist on the old um, strategy RTS sort of style game. Um, in fact, it's not even RTS, is it? Turn based strategy even. But I like being able to freely control the characters and, and do a bit of free aim. It's really cool. So let us know what you thought. Give us a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed that. Drop us some comments, let us know what you think, and stay tuned for the next one, guys. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.